in our finale today. Oops. I hope that was okay. We saw it briefly. One piece on the screen. Well, we just showed one page, so I think that's fine. Our finale. Chapter 824 of One Piece. Little Pirate Games. This is a wonderful color spread. Who's, who's this guy barbecuing? I don't know if I've seen that guy before. Maybe he'll be a new crew member or something. I like these koalas. I like that the, they're on a roller coaster having barbecue. I like how scared Usopp is. Everyone's having fun in their own way. Alright. So, One Piece has been absolutely nuts lately. And I can't even begin to describe how multifaceted this plot is. Oh my god, who's this guy? The heck? Who is this person that they're showing off? Uh, I'm, I'm done with that joke. Sanji! It's Sanji! It's some sort of Sanji... Universal Studios Japan One Piece Premiere Summer. Whoa, I kind of want to go to that. That would be amazing. It's the year of Sanji, dude. He'll cook you up a meal. In costume. This is about One Piece Gold. The movie coming out soon. The casino heist themed movie, which actually seems like a ton of fun. I'm going to have to watch that. I love the One Piece movies. Pretty much all of them. Oh! Oh! That's right, okay, so as I said, there's so much going on right now, and unlike other times in the past where so much stuff is going on, all of these involve people extremely close to the Straw Hats, or the Straw Hats themselves. So for the Straw Hats themselves, we've got uh, Zoro's team heading to Wano, we've got Luffy's team trying to rescue Sanji, two parallel plot lines, both of them completely fraught with danger. Given that there's a Yoko involved, a Yonko involved in both situations, sorry. Then we've got Vivi heading to the Reverie with her father and their escorts and stuff. And every other royal family in the One Piece world besides Wano is going to be there. Oh my god. And then we've got the Revolutionary Army, including Sabo, Luffy's sworn brother, is taken down. <sighs> Defeated by who, though? Blackbeard? The world government? The second strongest member. Why is the highest siblings are crazy dangerous people? Oh, this is crazy. And then on top of that, there's still the people left on Zoe and the billion berry man Jack, who I'm Completely convinced is still alive, even though we didn't see him at all last chapter. I still think Jack must be able to stir some... Why would they make him a billion berries and then get them taken out in one panel? And there's the team looking for Marco, which I think is going to run into Edward Weeble. Is that the guy's name? The, the guy who thinks he's the son of Whitebeard? This is crazy. Guy's my dad? Oh yeah, because he met him before! He met him in... In Logetown, really briefly. Doesn't look a thing like me. That's my... T oh my god. Whoa, what does Brooke know? Doesn't know his presence just to... to has Brooke met Dragon before? How would that be possible? Dragon wouldn't have even been alive when Brooke became a wandering skeleton. Until from an unidentified. Whoa, the Blackbeard pirates took them out. Why did Blackbeard go after the Revolutionary Army? Oh. Yeah, Cypher Pole. Because CP0. I really want to see CP0. They seem so interesting. Why is Carrot chewing on Pedro's arm? Whatever. Let's see if it's emptying. All right, that makes sense. Oh no! Luffy starts a fire in the kitchen. This is so suddenly wacky. After finding out this devastating news. The revolu- oh my god, so does this mean the Revolution Army is going to have to make like a full-on attack? 
Ah. Is that Electro? Is that Electro? She's never seen a storm before. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Carrot left. This is the team that stayed behind on Zoe. <laughs> She's still wearing Nanny's bikini. Strange. <laughs> Jack Jack is just straight up I thought I don't know what I thought I thought somehow you escaped or he encased himself in something but he's just sitting here on the bottom of the ocean I don't know how he's not drowning and he's just stuck because he's a devil fruit user so of course he can't swim I don't know how he's alive what the what? A certain cut. That's definitely Wayno, dude. That's definitely Wayno. That's definitely Wayno. Make any more gifters? A sentimental drunk. Oh my god, dude. That's him. That's Kaido. Kaido, an only devil fruit user pirate crew. The best. Oh my god. Take him lightly. Oh. oh man. This is our boy, Kaido, living it up in the Royal Palace of Ueno, wearing some sort of kimono type thing, it looks like. This is so crazy. Luffy's shredded poster. Whoa! That generation. They really got that. <laughs> you ready? It's a better run. Because up until now, we've simply been playing little pirate games. Oh, and Kid is down for the count. Trap. So that means that when they start the Wayno arc, Kid is going to be involved too. Uh, oh my god. But before all of that, we still got the whole... Okay, ah, uh, they're heading to Big Mom's country. What's that called? Full Cake Island? Yeah, Full Cake Island. Random curry. Why are they letting Luffy cook? <laughs> I think this has been the first food scene in One Piece where they made it so unappealing. I'm trying really hard to think of a counterexample. There's been so many great feast scenes with Sanji and stuff. Really makes you notice the absence. <laughs> Ruff, Luffy's random curry. <laughs> oh no, he used all the provisions. No. So this is going to be a fun little silly sailing arc. With the neglected straw hats. <laughs> so that's even more time away from Sanji. What happened to the year of Sanji, Oda? It's a third over and we haven't even seen our boy. I thought it was supposed to be the year of Sanji. Whoa! 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 It's... Cotton candy still. It's Sanji! This is the first modern Sanji. We've seen him only in flashbacks within the last, like, two years. Uh, they're 
coming into the territory. So this is the first intel we have. Ships will automatically be shot. So this is his assassination organization, the Germa 66. So, Sanji is not... There's so many reasons for him to reject this, but weighing on his mind especially is the attack on Peckhams. Can't... Ooh. No, she's gonna be cute. She's gonna be cute. Whoa, she's so cute! This is the girl we saw. Oh, man. Oh no! Sanji! Don't be tempted! Don't be tempted! Think of your crew! You can only make food for your friends! Sanji, no! Okay, this chapter was as crazy as the last few, which is really, really, really crazy, and I cannot possibly wait to see more. I love One Piece. And our finale today, Wan Pisu. Who will be next to Nami Chan? I wanted to tell. So we're looking stylish. So these are the old men that were on the island Weatheria, I think it was called. The Sky Island that Nami trained on. This is a very. The Wii Times comic strip. The heck is this title referring to? I have no idea where the series is going at all. But we saw Sanji again, dude. We saw Sanji for the first time in a long time in, like, actual current events, not, like, a flashback or whatever. And it looks... Ooh, we're gonna keep following Sanji's journey. There's a comic strip that runs in the Wii Times. The World Economic Times. Huh. So is that the newspaper they're always reading? Interesting. Giant fantastical robots. Sora, warrior of the sea. Whoa. Fight the evil. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is... possibly based on reality. And it looks like this hero is sort of like representing the marines. So it's supposed to teach the viewers, that the readers, that the marines are the good guys and stuff. So it's almost like propaganda. Up against the... Sanji's family's assassination army. Oh my, this is so interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Brainwashing kids to idolize marines. Hmm. Same with bated breath. I'm rooting for your team. Whoa, this is so interesting. This, all of this stuff showing Big Mom's ship too. Big Mom's ship is crazy. There's this guy dressed up like a king, carrying a gigantic present. All these like Alice in Wonderland soldiers. Whoa, the door <laughs> comes alive. The whole ship is like alive like this. The, the, the mast, or not the mast, the, it's the thing on the front called. The front part, it sings. The door can talk. Oh yeah, Caesar. Caesar is here too, I forgot. He's the man that will bring the Vin Smoke and Charlotte families together. Oh! This is one of, uh that guy's name. The fire tank pirates. Don... Don something. The godfather guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The castle guy. Oh. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. This is, uh, this, this, the uh, Lola from Thriller Bark. That's definitely Lola. So, everyone kept thinking that Big Mom must be Lola's mom, right? Because she gave them the Viva card and said, my mom's a pirate. She's incredibly strong. And people were like, oh, that must be Big Mom. So if this is her sister or something, that must, yeah. They really do look similar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, but I guess that's all we'll see of that. Meanwhile, our little ship adventure arc. Sailing without a chef. Luffy mummifying. <laughs> they have to fish for food because he put it all into the unedible curry. <laughs> Not being good time for you to show me your face. <laughs> oh. Whoa, the sea is on the verge of boiling. Jesus. Oh no! The emergency rations! Way back when Chopper joined, that's what Sanji said. He'll be emergency rations at least. Oh! And what will he pull up? There's been so many times where the plot has advanced because of fishing. There was, uh... Let's see. They caught Karu once in the stream. No, 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 no. They, they were using Karu as bait and they caught Mr. Two. That led to a big plot arc. There was, they pulled up the Sea King that had Kami inside of it, which led to a gigantic plot arc. What will they pull up this time? Maybe it's just a fish. Is the color seem a bit off? Is it even ed edible? Uh oh. Chris <laughs> Fuck Dirty Magazines. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no! Luffy's already eaten. But Luffy is immune to poison, <laughs> isn't he? I think he'll just laugh this right off. Hmm. Luffy's gonna die. Oh, I thought he was fine with poison. Oh, so it should have caused instant death. I guess it's sort of like a pufferfish type situation, and yet Luffy is fairly okay. Oh no. Wow, oh, saturating clouds. The cotton candy clouds. Woo! And already they're getting an alert. Uh-oh. Scouting ship. Whoa! No! What the fuck is on Frank? It's one of Sanji's brothers! Dude, it's one of Sanji's brothers! And next issue, One Piece will be taking a break. Why? 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 Why would they do that? Okay. That's all the manga we're reading for today. And our finale... finale today... is One Piece. Chapter 826, 0 and 4. I wonder what that could mean. This arc is getting really bananas. It looks like... there's just so many things happening at once. I don't even want to summarize it. Because there's no way that we could get huge developments on and on all of them tilling the earth of a former battlefield oh my god they're farming you now persona or perona I, I can't remember yeah perona perona and mahawk have now tamed the formerly wild monkeys and are growing cabbages how nice this is a really uh dramatic shot of dragon here on, by Silenter Art. Kind of reminds me of pictures of Karl Olaf Nosgard. 
<laughs> oh man, the ship is a giant transponder snail? So this is, the, the Straw Hats have come across one of Sanji's brothers manning a spy ship. For all the sails are gonna hit them. Holy, it's a giant Dendenmushi. The heck? Oh, they're all cheering. Sanji, Sanji. Luffy ate some poisonous fish and I was about to die. I'm calling me Sanji. What's his name actually gonna be? Um, because Sanji is three, and he was the third brother. His chapter's title is zero and four. So maybe this guy's name is Yonji. He's the fourth brother. He's Sanji's little brother. Got the wrong guy. Yeah, Yonji. I nailed it. <laughs> I'm a genius. And they have the same. Swirly brows going the same. <gasps> That's the 66! The two swirls make the Genma 66. Ah! Ha, ha. Pow. Or Germa 66. Vin spoke Yanji. <laughs> You're not Sanji. He's definitely his little brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the name makes it pretty obvious. He's got like these goggles and stuff. They really are like the villain team of like a Super Sentai series, you know? Like you know how in the last one there was that comic they were talking about? The Wii Times comic strips? <laughs> what a babe. Oh Yanji. It's Yanji. Whoa. Luffy dying from poison, man. I, I didn't think this was going to be a serious thing. So, I want to believe that, like, this Big Mom arc, I'm sure it'll have some fighting and stuff. But I think things will end up kind of okay. Like, I think they're going to make some allies from this, including Sanji's family, including maybe the Big Mom family, because it really does seem like Big Mom is now Lola's mom, and, of course, they're... they're She's then indebted to the Straw Hats for saving Lola. Plus it just sort of makes sense for them to get a Yonko-sized ally before they go up against Kaido, I think. I think that will, like, really make of it a much more dramatic war-type arc, which is the sort of thing that I think is fair for an arc on the scale of a Yonko. So, like, I think here we're going to see some sympathy from Yonji. He's going to save Luffy. Is that what's going to happen? Ooh, why don't I try stealing the antidote from me like a pirate would? But he's still talking about an antidote. He's still suggesting it. Pedro is unsheathing a sword. Ooh. So if it's zero and four, four being Yanji, is zero the father? Zero G? What's zero in Japanese? I can't think of it. Quit being a stingy idiot. Who the heck is this? Ooh, Reishu. She jumped over to the ship immediately. Whoa! Older sister! Reishu. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Sanji's older sister. Holy. Whoa. So this is how Brooke knows, right? Do you remember that Brooke used to be like a captain for some royal guard from the North Blue? Sanji also being from the North Blue. So the Vinsmoke family at least used to be royals, but then they also became this assassin clan. Their name was synonymous with evil, that's where the comic features them. You're stupid. 
still royals. German nation has nowhere to call. Oh! They're going to the reverie too? Some luck. This happens with my poison. Oh, she was called Poison Pink. But Magellan already had the poison poison fruit. So what is her fruit? Maybe some sort of like ingesting fruit? But I think she's about to like deep kiss Luffy. Yeah. I Maybe she has some sort of like disease fruit? The poison pink. This is crazy! Dude, this is crazy. Sanji's family's nuts. <laughs> Do we have any left? Sanji! That's why the Marine HQ started harassing Duval so much, which is what led to his life of kidnapping and stuff. Black. Change the bounty only alive. That's right, that's right. I want you to give Sanji back. He's my friend. He's my Nakama. Go, man! Takoms is so cool. So many people in in Big Mom's crew are cool. I really want to see more of uh, Bobbin. Do you remember Bobbin? He had like a big mask and a huge, wide smile and a gigantic sword. I hope Zoro fights Bobbin. That'd be sick. He took Nami's wanted poster. <laughs> Ooh! Jim B. Jim. Ooh! 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 Jim B leading a force of fishmen to help Luffy and his crew get Sanji back. So, this, of course, really does tie back into the Fishman Island arc. There's still, like, a few leftovers from that. There was the, the present that contained a bomb that went to Big Mom's Island by mistake. There was Jim B's indentation to the, the Star Hawk crew, you know, that he'll come back into play. It's the fact that Luffy claimed the territory of Fishman Island from Big Mom. So many... So much animosity just brewing. But the fact that Jim B comes back into play is, is sure to be a big difference. And also the fact that the... King Neptune is going to the Reverie, so that could also come into play. Ah, I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Ha 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 ha! What a great series! I can't wait to read more. Ha! Ah. So good! So good! All right. All right, now we have the new chapter of One Piece, chapter eight twenty seven, Totland. Totland. I'm guessing this is part of Big Mom's empire. Totland. So we've got the Straw Hats sailing in, having just encountered Sanji's younger brother Yonji and his older sister Reiji. Um, so of course Sanji being the third one, Reiji the zeroth. And because she's a girl, I guess she doesn't count in the brothers naming scheme and Yonji the fourth. Um, and they were out looking for Sanji, I guess. And she saved Luffy and they're all like color themed too. So I think Sanji will be black because he's the black leg. I don't know. I should, um, no, you can tell what page I'm on. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, the Kumbabaka Kingdom. This is the paradise that Sanji found himself in. 
I wonder how they're taking this news of his betrothal to a woman when they thought he was one of them! One of us! One of us, right? Oh, I love that scene. The, that I think that's one of my favorite parts in the whole series, is when they first show where Kuma launched everybody, and it just keeps shifting and shifting, and there's... Sanji starts with him writing the letter to Nami and Robin. I hope you're in some place nice. Me? I am in hell. <laughs> and it shows all the Okama chasing him. Ah, so good. We got fan art of Reiji already. Cool. <laughs> so that's how it is. Ship over there is one that you hijacked from an enemy. Oh, I see what's going on here. Pretty clever. We got our boy Peckoms, the badass lion gangster. Uh, lion, ha 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 ha, and saying that he wasn't uh, cooperating with the Straw Hats. He had, in fact, hijacked their ship and shanghaied them. That's how they've infiltrated the territory. Very good. Sir Peckhams, you're so suave. I love this, the little messenger guy, too. You see he's got this, like, heart shield on the back? It's like a total Alice in Wonderland sort of thing going on here. I love it. Oh, I love it already. Oh, my God, look at all the, the cake castles and stuff, too. Oh. I'm, I'm being enthralled by this environment already. So many kinds of people walking around. The bricks, the houses, literally everything is made of chocolate. A chocolate town have died and gone to heaven. Whoa, look at all these people. Oh my gosh. There's a little monkey man. An even smaller thing here. I wish I could show the page and we can talk about it more sensibly. I hope people know what I'm talking about. And this, like, stork... Is this like a big seal in the back? This is definitely some sort of mink person, but this guy next to him on the left is like a weird goblin. And then this is like a, a long leg tribe woman, I think. Chocolate fountain. What do you call that for sure? A choco tang? <laughs> Chocolate hot springs? <laughs> oh yeah. Cho chi choco no. And then that's the hot springs. Oh, uh, I can't think of what hot springs is, but. Chocolate clothes. What the? Ah. <laughs> Full cake island. Oh, Nami dresses up, of course, in this Alice in Wonderland type garb. It's extremely short skirt. Brooke down on the floor trying to see her panties, of course. Do I still look like a pirate? <laughs> I went easy on you. <laughs> Oh, they're not even on Whole Cake Island yet. This is just one of the outlying territories of Big Mom, I guess. Go and buy some groceries before we get moving in. Ooh, this is going to be fun. I love little, like, slice-of-life type arcs with the crew. Like, do you remember at the start of Water 7, when they're, they're just trying to go in and sell their treasure, and they have to figure out how to ride the canals and stuff? Ah, uh, it's just so fun, because all these cultures he's created for the islands are actually so rich. And there's actually, like, so much behind them that you can just extrapolate from the little clues that were actually shown. And it all, it all makes sense. And it feels not just like, oh, this is a place where people could really live. But this is like, oh, this is a place where I really want to live. I would love to visit Whole Cake Island. I would love to visit Big Mom's country. Ah, even Minx, it's like a wonderland! Wow, wow! So Big Mom's not all that bad. I really do think that this will end with Big Mom being an ally. I really do. It, it just makes sense, too, that if they go up against the Yonko, they should have a... I mean, there's definitely going to be two Yonko against them, I'm pretty sure. Right? Blackbeard, for sure. For sure, for sure. And then 99% chance um, Kaido, because they took out Doflamingo and all that. But then it would make sense that um, Shanks, of course, is on their side. And I think Big Mom will end up on their side, too. Because, you know, and the whole thing with Lola, and and she just seems like not that bad a person. But of course, and that's why they had this whole thing set up with, like, the bomb, and Luffy's, like, beef with her and stuff, so that they can still have this initial confrontation, and they can still have some fighting and stuff. I'm sure there's going to be that. 
But at the end of the day, I think we're going to have uh, allies. There are 24 islands dotted around Whole Cake Island. Which of these islands is ruled by Chancellor? Refer to all. Ah, oh, Totland! Okay. The country of 10,000. Chancellor Chocolate, and that's why Chocolate Town, Cocoa Island, the entire town. Oh, this is so wonderful! I'm actually. <laughs> And we can- Oh, that's like a mermaid on that cart! Oh, dude! And that's a long-legged martial artist guy talking with this long-legged girl. Oh, ah, oh, that's so good! Oh, and these are Tonada down there! They're little people! Oh my god. This time you can allowed to consume as much chocolate as you wish. Be sure to avoid the tile chocolates. They use this roof. <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> Some souvenir chocolates for myself. Oh no. Luffy's already in the town. Is he wearing his disguise? Probably not. It's a crap, someone just ate a cafe! <laughs> <laughs> Entire cafe is gone. This is ridiculous. Wow. We haven't seen Fat Luffy in a while. Fat Luffy with the big scar on his chest from Akainu is pretty funny. Akainu. Oh man, we had a really good reason for doing what we did. <laughs> Who is too delicious not to eat? Dude, Fat Chopper. That's a new one for me. Violence is not the answer. Ooh! Ooh! The carpet! The carpet is singing too! So there must be some devil fruit that makes inanimate objects alive like this. The ship was singing. The door was singing. Some person in Big Mom's crew. I bet... I think it's probably the three-eyed woman. That's my guess. She can make things come alive. The proprietor of the establishment. Is that a flying curtain? Uh-oh. So who's this gonna be? Oh, could she leaving so much good away? So oh, she's bailing them out. Who's the slime guy? Whoa, the puppy cheeks and stuff. Caramel! Nitro, the jello. Lavian, the carpet. Oishi, that's... What the heck? It's with the slime guy. Oh. Huh. So this girl got him out of this jam. Whoa! 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 That's her! That's the girl that Sanji's marrying! So why would the daughter of Big Mom just be a simple cafe owner? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa. This is another mink. So Pedro is familiar with people in this town. So this must be relating to whatever past or motivation or whatever made him really want to come along with the crew. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, she's just really proud of her work. That's so good. And Carrot is just dismantling this wall here. This is so silly. <laughs> and of course, Luffy just can't help himself. Every time I let that rap record... Sp oh my god, I can't think of the lyrics. Why am I trying to quote Kendrick Lamar? What? This is so exciting. Only three days... Oh, and all the flowers are singing. Oh, it's a shot of Big Mom. Unprecedented. Oh, look at all the furniture singing. And they're saying furniture, furniture. That that must be that's all out of this one devil's fruit. Precious, precious wedding cake. 
Oh, look at this band. And they're singing this song. It's like a Disney musical, right? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. These giant eggs. What the heck? And we're seeing some of Big Mom's high-ranking crew officers here, for sure. This guy with the crazy stovetop height. This girl with a super wide hat. This ostrich riding man. It's like the video game Joust. He even has like the the lance. <laughs> oh man, there's Big Mom in the middle. There she is. One of the strongest pirates in the world. It's the tea party from hell. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This is so exciting. I, there's just so much to take in. This crazy fairy tale Disney world. All of the character designs are amazing. The plot is just at this powder keg bursting point where there's so many things that could happen. Whew! I'm so happy. What a great chapter. I'm, I'm super excited for this Big Mom arc. I don't even know how to begin to, to tell you. Alright. And our finale for today. I mean, there's a few other things that I want to read, but I'm going to save them for tomorrow. Um... But for today, I'm going to close it off with One Piece. Checking in with Fishman Island, where everybody's running around with straw hats. I think there's still going to be more to this prophecy. Remember way back in the Fishman Island arc, there was the, the prophet fish who said someone with a straw hat is going to destroy Fishman Island. And then we just kind of moved past it because Luffy ended up being the big hero and stuff. But I think it's going to be... Somebody else, somebody who buys this straw hat replica souvenir who ends up doing something. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, that's not the focus here. The main thing I'm excited for is the chapter title, which is 1 and 2. Now, this to me suggests we're meeting Sanji's eldest brothers, which would be Ichiji and Niji. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be completely unimaginably hyped. Oh yeah, and... They met Pudding. You're the, the one that's going to marry Sanji. And a lot of people were discussing, is she the same one with the three eyes? Because the one with the three eyes also had like a slime creature with her, and she's got these long bangs. So I think she is the three-eyed girl. But given that there's 35 daughters, there is the chance that that was another one of Big Mom's daughters. So I don't know. This is getting crazy, man. This, is, this arc is just so nuts. You're that Pudding. I'm like a breathtaking wife. Everyone freaking out. Oh. Okay, I like this. I, I feel like there's there's always these phases in One Piece when the arcs are just starting and they're introducing so many characters and they're new um a new place and there's all these new kind of like mechanics and so many directions that the story could go. And for so long it's often the case that none of the characters are on the same page. Nobody is quite sure what anybody else is doing. So I'm kind of happy to see that at least this has been solved to some extent. That these She's aware that they're the Straw Hats, and they know who she is too. And at least this unit can now move forward together. But there's just so much other stuff going on <laughs> that we really kind of need these things. Did you guys make it past the inspection? Why are you even here? They'll kill you if they find you. I'm as scary as they come. That's right, you guys are scary pirates too. <laughs> oh, pudding. Oh, Pedro. <laughs> that was pretty good. Take back Sanji. Uh huh. Taylor mode was exploder managed to strengthen the pirate crew. That's right, to get the Germa 66 assassination clan in line with her pirates. Can't, why don't you just run away? 
Woo! Left in search of a free independent love, a journey in search of a groom. We know who that is, of course, Lola, which makes Nami, because she's one of the smarter Straw Hats, realize that probably the Viva card she was given actually points to one big mom. The alliances are, are starting to kind of build up, but I think they're going to have to deal with first Big Mom's rage. 35th out of the Charlotte family. Does Big Mom really have 35 daughters? 39 daughters and 46 sons. Oh my god. Mom has taken 43 husbands. Alright, this is hilarious. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. This is like a nice contrast, I guess, to the pseudo family of Whitebeard and the closeness of other fi um, pirate families and stuff. This is the their actual family. <laughs> Truly a big mom. I like that Chopper is eating this table during this entire conversation and seems like totally nonplussed with the, <laughs> the size of this family. His eyebrows were a bit too curly, but he was so kind, such a gentleman. His legs are black or something. I wonder, man. So this is another big point of debate on A is uh, what will actually play out in terms of Sanji's romance or lack thereof. A lot of people are saying that Nami will rescue him from the wedding in the same way that he rescued Nami from Absalom's wedding way back on Thriller Bark. And that this will lead to... Nami and Sanji actually in some sort of relationship? I don't buy that. I think maybe there will be some parallel, but I definitely don't buy Nami Sanji ever going to be a couple. But it seems cruel that everyone else is sort of aromantic and stuff. And as Oda puts it, they're just in love with adventure, but Sanji really does have this like really bleeding heart for women, right? I think it would be wrong if he went the entire series without actually finding love. And he kind of got close, like, he, he had a thing going with Violet on Dressrosa, but we all know how that played out. Uh, so maybe, maybe he will give with Pudding. And what if Pudding came on the crew as, like, a baker? And whatever crazy three-eye power she has? I don't know, man. I don't know. Was, I'm kind of warming up to it. At first, I, I didn't like the idea that any of the Straw Hats would get romantically involved with anyone, but... I don't know. I like Sanji, man. I want Sanji to be happy. I love Sanji, too. <laughs> hmm. But will they actually get married? Nah, I don't think so. Because there's no way the Straw Hats are going to become subordinate to Big Mom. Should keep this woman bound and ganked. <laughs> oh, Pedro. Pedro's kind of the cynical Zoro-like uh, influence of this arc. Given that Zoro's gone. Hmm. Still forget about Sanji. What's she doing here? The wedding game. Oh, that's gonna be huge, dude. The big wedding. I love that this is also just still a, a wedding arc. Oh, I think my dad's on. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways. So wonderful. And he shared something with me. But I can't gotta return to my friends. Whoa! <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Whoa. Okay, so this becomes Starts the big infiltration arc. The rescue Sanji. Ooh, okay, so they're on Chocolate Island. We gotta go past Jam Island, Cheese Island, Nuts Island, Biscuit Island. And then, of course, Whole Cake Island. So thrilling. Eat their way out of the wall. Sneak away. 
They've got their supplies. They're not going to be starving on this journey again. Choco Burger. <laughs> Chocolate bread. Ooh. Uh-oh. Peckham is missing. Turn back. Peckham's got kidnapped. <laughs> Don't forget this message. <laughs> uh, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Broccoli Island. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's, it's just, oh, snap. Whoa, whoa. His subordinates are so loyal that all he has to say is wall. And they rush over and defend. Years in her competency. Wow! Oh, so cool. And that's that's only number two. That's only the second oldest brother. The oldest brother is gonna be even more badass. Oh, so even though they're the villains in the, the kind of the propaganda, so like everyone in this arc is kind of good in their own way. I mean, Big Mom is kind of awful. She eats her crew, and it seems like maybe she puts their souls into inanimate objects or something, but... <sighs> Ooh! No! One piece will be on hiatus! Ah, oh, that's the one thing I didn't want to see. So is this... Niji and Ichiji? This arc is going to be crazy. Oh man, I'm actually so exciting. It's like a heist arc, sneaky sneaky arc, wedding arc, Alice in Wonderland arc, uh, Super Sentai arc with these crazy assassination team heroes, all themed after colors and numbers. <sighs> One more, and it's still like Animal Adventure arc because there's so many minks coming along. Candyland arc, it's everything. It's it's what a Yonko arc has to be. Alright. Hmm, this guy has a theory that Sanji's mom sent Hawkeye to go check on the restaurant. That would actually be kind of interesting. Because that's one of the, the more strange qualities of this whole series, that Hawkeye, who is really depicted as sort of lazy and, and in his own world, tracked down Don Krieg for... No real reason. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm so pumped. And our finale for today, the latest chapter of One Piece 829, which has a extremely exciting title, The Yonko, Charlotte, Linlin, Lin, The Pirate. So we are already kind of getting deep into this Big Mom arc. Uh, they've laid out <clears throat> a course of action. It seems like this will be a really substantial saga on, on par with Dressrosa, with multiple islands to visit, so many different parties involved, so many conflicts of information and understanding and stuff. It's going to take a while for everything to get resolved. And in the center of all of it, quite literally, is our girl Big Mom, one of the four strongest pirates in the world. What do we got? Singing Frog Straw Hats. That's actually pretty adorable. <laughs> what a very silly cover. This will be a very fun arc, though, I think. Oops, I should adjust the screen region. One second. It has to do with uh, the length of the title. So I have to do it different for different series. Anyways. But yeah, this seems like it's got, got all these Alice in Wonderland components. It's got kind of like gangsterish components and stuff. <laughs> like this title page alone is crazy. This is for Film Gold, which I, it's I guess it involves Sabo and Rob Lucci. It's crazy. And who's this in the back? Is this? Who is that? 
It's not Aokiji. Anyways. Um, yeah, what if you use foam gold? It has this crazy, like, kind of casino theme, which is cool. And this has sort of like an, an espionage mob action sort of theme. And then also like a crazy Super Sentai theme. There's just so much stuff going on. On the content level, the story level, the aesthetic level. What a fantastic series. Alright. Having lost their... Oh yeah, Peckham's was kidnapped. They leave the Chocolate Island. And then start heading for Whole Cake Island. Seen Island. Alright, they're coming up on... Uh, after Coco, it's Cherry? Cherry Island? Is that what it says there? Chi... I don't know. <laughs> City of Jam. Won't be going ashore. Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The multi-log pose. It's nice that because this is the arc that actually has Nami, seeing that she was, like, totally MIA from Dressrosa, <clears throat> they're gonna let her, uh, do some real navigation. <laughs> to Sanji. We gotta go to Sanji. <laughs> oh, Luffy. You should not be in charge of any of these sort of things. What are these things down here? There's some sort of, like, radar slug things. And it seems like all of this stuff... I think Big Mom's power... There's been a lot of speculation about this. I read this theory, though, that seems good to me. She can eat people. We saw her doing that already. She can eat people and then put their souls into inanimate objects and bring them to life. So it's sort of like um, Moria's power with shadows. But instead of corpses and shadows, it's inanimate things and uh, their entire body or whatever. Hmm. No, Luffy, don't cook. <laughs> We've got their helpful minx, Carrot and Pedro. Ocean's all grape colored. Whoa, grape ocean! Yeah, and Pedro knew people in the Coco Town too. He he has some mysterious past. There's also some reason that I'm sure that he he volunteered to come along. This is very interesting. Whoa, what is that? Giant second centipede. Ooh, and is Carrot gonna fight too? She's licking her. And she had kind of, like, electricity stuff, I'm pretty sure. Some of the minks had that, at least. Ooh, Mama's illness has reared its head again. Oh, so her illness is just needing to eat stuff? Group of cream puff tourists. The Nuts Minister. <laughs> oh, yeah, sneeze. Oh, I love this, that their whole economy is based on different demands of food, and they have all these different ministers and stuff. Oh, she's lost herself in a fit of rage. Oh no, and she's knocking down trees and stuff. Living trees. Casualties continue to rise. She's on a warpath. Wow. Eating disorder. Whoa, there's a crocodile man! And a tall head man, and all sorts. Is this, this like, this must be sort of her elite, I think, right? Because, uh, what's his face here? Tamago? Is that his name? Something, uh, something to do with eggs. Anyways. He's, he's definitely one of the, the ranking officers, I'm pretty sure. Because he gets sent out on, on various expeditions and stuff. So I guess maybe these other guys are also f fairly... That looks like a Tonata right there. 
she's got in her crew and uh wow this wow whoa, I, i'm actually so excited it's it's great because i really do think that i mean no pun intended we're going to be having our cake and eating it too with this arc but not only is Big Mom going to eventually become an ally, along with Sanji's family and stuff, but we're also going to have to fight a lot of people. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god! Big Mom, even the sun and the clouds are disapproving. Holy! And her pirate hat is scared too! Big Mom's stand. Oh my god! She's like King Kong. She's just eating everything. <laughs> Muscat. The gelato minister. It's gonna be 30 more minutes. The chefs are working out as we speak. His sword is an ice cream cone! Ah! <laughs> oh, so he's one of the sons, too. Let me see. Life treat Life or treat. Oh my god, is she about to eat her own son? I don't want to eat it, don't get in my way. Oh no 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 no! She's eating it. His soul or something is coming out. This could be the very power that we were talking about. 40 years. Oh, man. 40 years. What does that mean? He was 40 years old? And she took... All 40 years from him or something? What the heck? What the heck? Whoa! It's Jinbei! And he's got the... The food she wants to eat. Jinbei. Whoa, whoa, and Jinbei is... <laughs> sacrificing these... Tourists? These living cream puffed tourists? He's willing to make that sacrifice for the sick. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Chimbe. Whoa. Well, it worked. That's all we could hope for. Oh my god, they're dying though. These poor cream puffs. I don't know, man. Sometimes it's like, maybe Big Mom's not going to be an ally after all. Because she's pretty evil. She's just devouring all these sentient beings. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian, so I suppose I'm doing the same thing. Ah, One Piece, why are you making me grapple with my morality? Whoa. He brought... Because Jinbei, during the cover arc, had found that pony glyph. He brought it to Big Mom. <sighs> oh. So right now Jinbei is working for Big Mom. Working in her crew. <sighs> okay. Alright. That was an interesting chapter. The crazy rampage of Big Mom. We're getting more and more of the, the scariness of her. And she finally got this title introduction. The Queen of Totland. Oh, this is exciting. The Big Mom arc. It's happening. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Alright. That's all for today. Alright. And our finale today, chapter 830 of One Piece, He Who Gets Bet On. Hmm. I wonder what that means. And it seems like the opening chapter, or the opening uh, uh, the, the title page, 
still looking at the world's reactions to Luffy's new bounty. Seems really gambling s too. This is definitely Raleigh in the gambling house and Sam the gambling house in Sabody that we talked about before. Uh, looking like he's playing some sort of CeeLo type game with dice. I wonder if there's anything in this newspaper. Definitely looks like that on the top right, that might be Sanjan Wolf. You know, the giant battleship. It kind of looks like his scruffy hair. I don't know. And then lower on the left, that kind of looks like a man in like a fedora. That might be Rob Lucci. Some sort of article on CP0. I don't know. But... There's, they're really kind of playing up the with this. Usually the title page has really nothing to do with the chapter itself. Um, so it might just be a coincidence. But this really does suggest to me this sort of mafioso type aspect to the play. That uh, the play, what am I saying? The arc that I'm really excited for. Because we got Capone Beige. We got the whole infiltration and extraction. All right, a few hours earlier. Straw Hat Luffy is a man who eventually changed the world. He is the one who will rule the seas. Straw Hat Luffy himself. Whoa, Jinbei understands. He understands Luffy's potential. He understands the fact that Luffy is the main character. <laughs> so Jinbei down in Fishman Island, recruiting the Sun Pirates. True freedom, yes. This is exciting. Countless times. <laughs> the way that Jimbi's a little embarrassed about this. This is good. A lot of people didn't want Jimbei and the crew because they thought he was like too serious. Uh, they didn't see how he would have kind of like banter and shenanigans with the crew. But I think Jimbei in his own way is kind of wacky. I like that. Um, he gets flustered kind of easily. He's like kind of traditionalist to a fault. But uh, he is cute. Cute Jimbei. Look here, the other Sun Pirates. Excited to see him off. Yeah, he did it all. He did it all for the Fishmen. And even this, he thinks by being with the Straw Hats, he can bring about them f their freedom. Yeah, no longer need to carry that burden. From this point forward, it's okay to follow your own desires and be a bit selfish. Just like Frankie. It's a nice little parallel to how Frankie left Water 7. That they had finally convinced them it's time to think about your own happiness, your own goals. You've earned it. You know? This is the sort of message of One Piece. That if you, if you work through the trying times, if you do the right thing again and again, if you believe in yourself, you will be able to bring about your own goals. You will be able to find your own happiness. Alright. No words for how grateful I am. So this is the vice captain, Aladdin. We'd seen him before. Whoa! He got married to one of the Big Mom daughters. Interesting. Miss Praline. Praline, of course, being another not commonly used in pastries. Funny, funny. Huh. This is just getting stranger and stranger. All these things going on. Ooh, Charlotte Praline. Half mermaid. So Big Mom had a kid with a m mermaid. Made this creepy looking half mermaid shark woman. <laughs> oh. This is funny though. I, I like that Big Mom's influence over all these pirate crews isn't just her power. But these, like, bizarre, kind of sometimes awkward, sometimes dysfunctional relationships and stuff. Especially with, like, um, Lola setting out to find a husband. Like, Lola of the Rolling Pirates. Just creating this sort of, like, really awkward, hitting on everybody tension. Funny, funny, funny. <clears throat> Aww. She really does love Aladdin, though. This crazy shark woman. Having a lot of fun with everyone around. This monk of the sea. 
A single soul is braver to utter such words. Live to see another day. Oh, that makes sense. It doesn't seem like Big Mom would take kindly to her. Man, this, the design of Praline is so cool. Really one of uh, Oda's craziest designs for girls. You can't really accuse her of just being nanny with a different haircut. <laughs> Alright, so this is where Jinbei was coming to say, I'm quitting your pirate crew. I'm joining up with the Straw Hats. Don't... Do not leave behind even a single second. Hmm... Own son. Don't leave behind even a single second. And what are these things that he was ordering around? Oh. The candy. And... Do not ask those who should leave the reasons on a couth. Don't give a damn about his reasons. Ooh, Big Mom understands. Even though Big Mom is really horrific, eating her crew and stuff. Just by the fact that she is a pirate, it really seems like we'll see some common mentality at some point. Living freely is of utmost importance. You know, that's part of the pirate philosophy that we can all, all of the pirate crews can agree to. Hmm. It's a valuable resource. Well, sure. <laughs> I love the fact that everything is alive. That you just look in the background. This big teacup is alive. This snowman guy is alive. It's only fair that you lose something valuable as well. Oh! Mama, mama. Oh, that's her, like, distinct laugh. We haven't had one of those in a little while. All the One Piece villains have their signature laugh. And of course, hers is mama, 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 mama. What will he be losing? Ooh! Interesting. She has, a, like, a roulette wheel for sacrifices? Okay, let's see. Whoa, what the heck? Syrupy ants. Oh, they already went past Cheese Island. I really wanted to see Cheese Island. That sounds great. But uh, I suppose the pace of this arc would be totally unreasonable if we had little mini developments on each and every island. But let's see. Oh, so the syrup at night gets cooled off and they get stuck in it? Wow. <laughs> Huh. What are you doing in a place like this? The Pedro backstory. I wonder if it'll be an element of a, a great, a big, larger flashback in this arc. I kind of feel like it. Uh huh. We are on a journey to discover pony glyphs. Yes, that's right, that's right, because the whole. Uh, collaboration between the Minks and the Wano people and Neko Mamushi and everybody trying to understand. It'll be the last day of our journey. I've fallen here once before. <sighs> told by our Duke Messer. Yeah. The last time was... Roger? Roger? <clears throat> Better be Roger. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm seeing similarities between their crew and yours. Of course. So this chapter, man, it's all people praising Luffy. Luffy gonna be the Pirate King. But, you know, of course we've known that from chapter one. The Luffy's gonna be the Pirate King. <laughs> Ah, uh ha! -huh. So this is, of course, the other aspect. They need to get these, what is it, four road pieces? They've got one from Zo. There's one in Big Mom's territory. There's one that Kaido owns. And there's one still missing? Or that Blackbeard owns? I can't remember. I think we were told. Okay, but whatever. Why is he steal a road pin? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so Pedro going in for the Poneglyph. This kind of thing. Whoa. 
So Brooke's backstory too keeps being hinted at. Something more going on because we know he used to be part of the guard of some kingdom, then became a pirate. What does he know? What is? And he knew about Sanji's family, the Germa Sixty Six. He was like immediately familiar with them. Uh oh, the ants are awake. It's pretty silly. But they made it! Whole Cake Island! They they made it to the capital. Oh, oh, this is so exciting. The first time we saw Whole Cake Island was years ago. That was the first time we got a glimpse of Big Mom. But oh, the castle. Someone standing at the coast. Jinbei? Teaming up with Jinbei? Perhaps the next straw hat? At long last, we're getting another crewmate. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Heading into Whole Cake Island. Alright, the Big Mom arc really heating up. And we will see next week. The best part of all of a One Piece chapter is reading that there's no break next week. And the best part of uh, being six days late to read manga, because of, you know, various, being busy doing various things, means that Next week is actually tomorrow! Tomorrow we get a new chapter! Okay. Alright. That's all great. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's all for now. And our finale today is One Piece. Chapter 831, Adventure in a Mysterious Forest. And again, a strange parallel between the title and the cover page as, uh... Uh... They go to the island where Luffy trained on one of the Amazons. This is, um, what's her face, I think? Anyways, showing Luffy is alive and well. They're all so happy to see him. That's nice. But what is this mysterious forest they're alluding to? Is it perhaps on Whole Cake Island? Uh, it would be kind of fitting with the whole Alice in Wonderland feel of, of this arc, that there would be a spooky, spooky forest. Let's see. Southwestern coast of Whole Cake Island. Oh yeah, we do see some trees and stuff here. At least time has come for that thing to shine. Ooh, it's the shark submerge! Ah, uh, yes. I love the soldier dock system. I, ho I hope we get to see it quite a lot still. Um, there's the Mary, the mini Mary. There's the shark submerge. There's the shopping boat. What else is there? There's the paddles. That's on two channels. Um, I think there's there was some empty ones, but maybe they've been filled up yet. All right. What are they gonna go check out? Oh, oh, yes, they're going after the ponyglyph. Creepy, creepy is. Every time you see new characters interact with Brooke, you're forced to, to consider just how scary he actually is as a character. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so they head off. Brooke on a special mission that might somehow tie back into his backstory. Very mysterious origin of Brooke as a pirate. Okay, smells like an adventure to me. Oh man. I saw them both clearly from where I was. Hmm. This sounds like someone's devil fruit power, perhaps. <laughs> They've just set up shop immediately and start eating. The continent of icing. Whoa, whoa, Sanji? What? Is it really happening this casually, this early? No, 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 no. Somebody's got like a doppelganger fruit, I'm sure. Like, not like Mr. Two's where they transform, but they somehow can make clones of another person. Whoa. Uh oh. They're being led by this illusion into the forest of candy. 
Oh, this is going to be interesting. What kind of hijinks? Why do you keep disappearing? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is the beginning of our first little preliminary adventure. I think this is a good way that we'll meet some of Big Mom's crew if they hand out as like vanguards and stuff. Um, and we're gonna explore this wonderful candy forest. This green river is made of melon juice. Whoa! Uh-oh! Giant candy alligator! Shades of alabasta. The banana gators. <laughs> There's something wrong with those bananas. <laughs> no need. Woo! Luffy! And this was uh, fresh on our minds from the title page. Luffy has real good control over wild beasts now. I'm trying to use his hacky. Oh, you're just humans. Whoa! <laughs> I'm freaking you out at this point. <laughs> so he stands next to the human bunny and human reindeer. Wow, wow, this is a big crocodile guy though. I like that he has like a bowler hat and suspenders. He reminds me somehow of um in Pogo. If you know the Western comic Pogo, here we'll show you just quite quickly. Whoops, don't look at that. Character Albert. Uh, please show me Albert. Yeah, there we go. I guess they're not that similar looking, but uh, just kind of the yeah. It's the fact that he wears this bowler hat. You see Albert wearing the hats quite often. I think I saw him wearing suspenders once too in some comic. Pogo is great. Pogo is one of my favorite Western comic strips for sure, if not my favorite. Anyways, let's get back to Juan Pisu. Uh-oh, they've become lost. they jumping over the river. Woo! Two Luffies! This is it, this is the doppelganger effect. And they must sound the same too, I'm thinking. Whose devil fruit is this? Oh, that's right. We can see here the scars on the opposite cheek. <laughs> oh, so shouldn't you realize now it's not Sanji anymore? <laughs> So does this mean that somewhere the real Sanji is doing these things? Also, this is actually very funny, that Sanji has a sucker. Because, very infamously, in the Four Kids quote-unquote localization, aka the year-long drag through the mud, they had Sanji, instead of smoking a cigarette, just suck on a sucker all the time. So lame! So painfully lame! It actually hurts me to think about how much more popular One Piece could have been in North America had four kids not just completely screwed up every aspect of their localization. Except for the theme song. The theme songs kick ass. <laughs> uh, something off about this place. Oh no. Woo! He can even use Luffy's power. Matching punch for punch his Gatling. So, whoever controls this fruit must be incredibly strong. Assuming these illusions are somehow under their control. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A buried giant. This person looks really similar to Sanjan Wolf. Right? I like this because I like being paired. <laughs> what the heck?
He just wants apple juice. Whoa, who's this? A bunny knight? Cutting down trees? Whoa. This character looks cool. Oh my god, are they riding on an ostrich? Yeah, I think so. It's like Joust. It's like the old video game Joust. Riding on an ostrich with a big lance? Yeah, exactly. Good thinking, Nemi. Compasses are watched. Nothing about this forest makes sense. The seducing woods. Ooh. This is very exciting. So even the hills and the walls are alive. Let us play a game of death. This is really fun. Oh no! One Piece will take me taking a break next week. Why? 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh well. Okay. Very fun chapter. Very exciting new location. Really kind of gives me some thriller bark type vibes, I think. Especially uh, this whole doppelganger thing being kind of similar to the, the shadow impersonation effect. This is really fun. Can't wait to see what more adventures will come in this forest. Alright. That is all for Manga Today. I hope you had fun reading it along. Okie dokie. And our finale today is One Piece. After a week break, I'm really raring to find out what'll happen. The title suggests that we're yet again flying to a totally new location. The Jerma Kingdom, which is presumably where Sanji's assassin clan family is situated. The title page here really has nothing to do with this. This is just for the One Piece film gold, which I'm looking forward to. The One Piece movies are always really fun. I don't typically watch the anime, just because I read the manga instead, but I've seen... Have I seen all the movies? I've seen most of the movies. They're, they're all quite good. Um, wow, we stopped driving a car. Is this the first time we've just seen a straight-up car in One Piece? With rubber tires and stuff? Huh, okay. Well, whatever. That's that's not what we're about today. Today we're about, ooh, a, a color page. That's what we're about. Fan service, as I was talking about in the Boku no Hero Academia version. You can't do it all the time, but if you do it some of the time, you'll make a portion of your reader base extremely happy. Who doesn't love Nami? I mean, just every aspect of Nami. <laughs> Why join the Navy if you can be a pirate? What a, what a great color page. So colorful. I guess that's the idea of a color page. <laughs> and we see the seldom seen straw hats, the guys that stay behind on Zoe. All right. Oh, I don't like this realistic type of art. <laughs> this art is okay. All right, all right, all right. Back on Whole Cake Island. The straw hats have been stuck in this Alice in Wonderland type woods. I read a really good post. Um, I'm pretty sure this person does it every week and they post it on our one piece. So I really recommend you check it out. Uh, about, I just lost my train of thought, about just like little references and allusions and clues in the chapter, and there was a ton of them introduced in the Alice in Wonderland uh, foresty area, like a lot of references to Alice in Wonderland and other series and stuff, things that I totally missed, <laughs> uh, and know that I would have never guessed without knowing this, so definitely check those out if you're uh, a real One Piece nerd like me. So, all the trees, very Thriller Bark-esque situation, where everything is kind of coming to life. Even the ground is alive, alive, and they're trying to kill and eat the straw hats. It's pretty creepy. If it wasn't so silly and stuff, I think I would be terrified. Madame Brulé is having some fun with them right now. Whose food will they end up as? They would make a delicious smoothie. Oh, I want a smoothie. Maybe I'll make a smoothie later. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. On the run. Rabbit is incredibly strong, but not a mink. That's right. I think it's just a rabbit that had someone's personality infused into it with, uh... Uh, Big Mom's... Or what I'd speculate to be Big Mom's devil fruit. Riding on the ostrich, too. is so bizarre. But I love it. Whoa. Carrot... Proving they're not a mink. Doesn't know the secret technique of minks. Electro. Which is still totally mysterious to us, too. Probably some form of hacky. Oh. Crane is down. Crane Rider Randolph. Cool. He's so cool. <laughs> it's just a rabbit. That's so cool. 
Oh no! <laughs> huh, so they've been running around in circles. Luffy, meanwhile, still fighting himself. Can't get out of his own way. And we know which one is the real one because the scar is mirrored. So this guy here is real Luffy. Run as fast as you can. And then the mirror one runs off in the opposite direction. So they really are... It's not just someone who looks like him. But it's some mirror devil fruit power or something. I don't know. Whoa? That's not me. Wait, wait, that's not me? Is that what he's trying to say? Does that mean that, like, Luffy... They took the mirror, Luffy? But the scar is usually on... Oh, I'm so confused. I'm not sure who that guy was we saw. But yeah, the Sanji one. The Sanji one wasn't a mirror. It didn't do stuff, like, it's not mirroring the real Sanji's behavior. It's like a... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he's asking for help. Oh, so... This person, of course, wants uh, apple juice. That was the whole thing with him last time. And that is actually an Alice in Wonderland reference. I didn't realize that. Like, I knew about the eating and growing and shrinking stuff, but I didn't realize it was apple juice specifically. Making this, of course, a direct allusion. <laughs> the ones that keep running off and then coming back. So... Whoa... What, what's, what power is causing this? Some sort of mirroring... You run into the mirror and then you are starting to run the other way again and... Whoa, the trees and stuff are moving! Okay, that's not gonna help either. But I mean, they're still straight up running away from this guy, and then end up running towards him. So it's not just that the scenery is changing, I think. There's no correct path to begin with. Oh no, it's not Luffy! I knew it, but... This, wait, is the scar actually on the other side? Is the... we saw that one panel of Luffy being like, alright, I got it. But then he ran off in the wrong direction, which is kind of a Zoro move. But, you know, Luffy's not the smartest either. Whoa! Never be able to skip these woods. Oh, this is Madame Brule. So she can just transform freely, I guess. All I hear is sirens. Huh. That's not very common out here. <laughs> She's not a tree. Oh, the eighth daughter. So I wonder if there's like pseudo power rankings. But as we get closer to the the first siblings. They're gonna be like the main antagonists. This girl's pretty creepy though. Definitely a fairy tale villain. Oh, what's up with that? I just drove right down our street. Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy. So I guess she can just disguise herself as anyone. Sort of similar to Mr. Two's power, but it seems stronger because she never had touched Luffy or maybe even Sanji or whatever. Lake right behind it. Oh, a German ship. Another giant Denden -den Mushi. Apricato. Oh, that's cute. A little lake pun. <laughs> uh, the way its eye sucks bend down is pretty cute. And here we can see the Germa people, their subordinates. The only ocean going kingdom that exists in this world. It rules over no stable land. It's oh, cool! I'm gonna cut this video here because there's probably no... Alright, now it's part two of this One Piece chapter, which is something I haven't had to do before. But I saw that it froze, and often now when it frozes, it just cuts out audio for the rest of the video, which is really annoying. I, I don't remember, I don't, I, I couldn't tell when it froze, but uh, I, I really gotta look into this. But I'm bad with computers. <laughs> Anyways, this is so cool. That all the German ships have little parts of the kingdom, and then when they all just kind of drift around the sea doing missions and stuff, 
but when they when they need to, they can all come back together and form the Germa Kingdom. Oh, so cool. Seizing control of the entirety of North Bloom in the years past. Wow. Spent every waking moment training. Oh, this is so cool. So this is the life that Sanji ran away from. To become a cook. So I guess I'm better than it's something like Sanji always wanted to be a cook, but in their cast, you know, cooks are seen as that's like a servant job, unbefitting for one of the Vinsmoke children. And then he made his break for it. <sighs> something like that? Whoa, it's the sister! They're no longer family. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that guy! That guy's cool. Look, he's just taking crowns. Bad enough taste to put up a picture like this is interior decoration. The four Nation coup. Wow. <laughs> Man brandishing his fame and power. So they want to take over the entire North Blue again. Maybe this is part of their alliance with Big Mom. It's to meet those ends. Dang. This guy looks so cool. So many potential villains lurking in this arc. Who who will everyone fight? <laughs> so excited. Meeting a Monday. Look, ten maids at your beck and call. Oh no, Sanji, don't be tempted. Don't be tempted by maids. Possibly complain about it. Whoa. Pudding. So there's been a lot of discussion around can we trust Pudding as a character? And, you know, she claims to meet Sanji, she claims to have gone along with Sanji and stuff. Can we trust even that? But here, the fact that Sanji's sister, like, I want to trust Pudding. For some reason I didn't even consider that Pudding shouldn't be trusted until I started reading threads and theories and stuff. Um, here we have Sanji's sister, who has no reason to be biased towards Pudding. Putting in a good word for her. Well, I guess, I mean, she's biased in that she wants Sanji to marry her. What am I talking about? Yeah, of course she's biased. But... She corroborates the story, right? I don't know. Oh, the father is actually here. Oh, we get to actually see him. Oh, whoa, with his mask and his crazy... Oh, dude, it looks like uh, Dirk, Dick Dasterly. Is that his name? Here, we'll, we'll look at this up quick. This guy. Eh, kind of. I definitely just remembered the mustache kind of being like that. I think there's maybe somebody else that he looks even more like. Oops, we shouldn't show this. Um, uh-oh. Oh, I thought that might have roasted it again. Oh, can smoke judge. Judge. Bad ass. That's the only two-word compound for it. Even if I were meant to, I have a parent. Sure as hell would be you. Possibly thinking of Zeph at the time. Ooh, he fought Yanji? When did that happen? Whoa. Using their fists. But Sanji never uses his fists. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Alright, alright. Got a lot going on here. And there's still a whole Jimby plot line that's pretty recent and relevant. And that's not even mentioning the the myriad other plots that are kind of lurking in the background. What a crazy arc. What cool characters. What a classic scene depicted in this fan art. Okay. That's, uh, that's all for our uh, two-piece, one-piece <laughs> adventure today. And that's all for Mega today, too. God, wow, I read a lot today. Whew. I don't know. Alright, and now we got the latest chapter of One a Piece. Another cover page focusing on the new movie One Piece Gold, which I guess is in theaters now. I haven't really heard anything about it yet. Um, I'll probably watch it though when it's released on Blu-ray. Of course, I would go see it in Japanese theaters, but I do not live in Japan, and I would not be able to understand what the heck anyone was saying. They even made a watch based on One Piece Film Gold. It's actually pretty tasteful. It's quite good. I like the stylized D and stuff, and even though it's like themed around the, the movie with like the gold hands and stuff, it's still more of like a very general One Piece watch. Uh, it's good. 
I think they're they're really cognizant now of the fact that the One Piece fan group, or the One Piece reading demographic, I guess, is much, much older than you might expect. I think the average age of a One Piece reader is like 30 now. <clears throat> Just because the series has been going on for such a long time and it broke such boundaries in terms of popularity for a shonen series. Like, everyone reads One Piece. Honestly, you go on the train and you see, like, businessmen just reading the latest One Piece volume. It just... Everyone loves it. How could you not love it? Some more gold promo here. Interviews, posters. Sure, sure, sure. And another color spread to celebrate the opening of Film Gold. This is a nice one. The giant watermelons. The festival. These floating goldfish. It's quite nice. I love that even the trees sort of look like fireworks, you know, with these tall, long stems and kind of poofy, explosive stuff. Ooh, Color Walk 7 is out. I didn't realize that. That's exciting. All right. What will happen in this chapter? More film gold stuff. Okay, okay. All right. So, the kingdom of Germa 66, One Piece, or er, Sanji's, uh, assassination clan family has reassembled all of their ships carrying part of the kingdom which I think is so cool and Sanji about to fight his father over disagreements in this whole marriage plan <laughs> Yanji already got beaten up pulled Sanji off and Sanji off screened him dude Sanji gave him the off-screen one, too. Man, I'm actually super excited to see Sanji fight again. It's been so, so long. I think the last, like, real fight we saw from him was that really badass moment where he runs across the sky to kick, uh, to kick Doflamingo in the face. I remember people being so hyped, actually thinking, like, yo, there were people that actually thought Sanji was just gonna beat Doflamingo right then and there. Which, you know, like, just totally shows how unprepared we were for the the scale and magnitude and an extreme craziness of Dressrosa. Anyways, Yanji hammering himself into place, I guess. I don't think a hammer is going to do this job. <laughs> oh, Yanji. Sanji's whole family is just so bizarre. Oh yeah, so, maybe this is obvious to everyone else. It just took me a second to realize this, though. Uh, and I think it's worth mentioning, because I think it's really funny. You know how Sanji has the, the curly eyebrow, right? And for a long time you can only see one of his eyes. And then the big surprise, after the, the time skip, was that he parted his hair the other way and you could see his other eye, and he had the opposite spiral going on it. And everyone thought it was just like a really goofy gag. But... <clears throat> Actually, if you, uh, hold on. I was using this as a, a sensor earlier, but, uh, whoops. Alright, check this out, check this out. So the eyebrows are like this, and like this, right? But... What if they were like this, and like this, just rotated slightly, is that not 66, as in Jerma 66? Oh, uh oh, uh, yeah, that's probably obvious to everyone except for me, because I'm a, I'm an idiot, but, uh, I thought that was cute. Whoa, he's not even wearing a raid suit, so that's... Perhaps what they're fixing up here, what the rest of Sanji's family seem to be using. Some sort of super assassination technology? I don't know. Whoa, and here he is, <coughs> fighting his super badass looking father. Don't you dare call yourself my parent anymore. Oh, Sanji's so cool. Sanji's father's so cool too. Maris urge is a total farce. Get some. Okay. 
I think you came here to protect my crew. Family of mine. Whoa! So here we have the Sanji flashback at long last. Ever since we first learned about Sanji, you know, we learned the history of him and, and Zeph and stuff. But it was never clear, why was he working on a cooking ship at that early age? Why did he come all the way from the North Blue to the East Blue? What the heck was going on there? And a lot of just sort of strange hints from time to time. Of course, the biggest one being the Alive Only Wanted poster. Had a lot of people thinking that Sanji was the son of a noble. I don't think anybody guessed that he was the son of a crazy Super Sentai assassination clan, but you know. That's a little harder to predict. But I think I did predict this right. That he wanted to cook. He was obsessed with cooking and food. But he was rejected by this, by the family. Thinking that cooking was beneath them. So his big brother's here. Beating it up. <sighs> Don't ever touch me. Oh, and here we see Sanji throwing a punch. So maybe this is where he learns that he should never use his hands. Because we can see that Sanji's hand itself is hurt when he punch punches the uh, the invincible looking Ichiji. I think that's what his name is, Ichiji and Niji. All four of us may have been born on the same day. Whoa, I thought they were legitimately older. But I guess they're actually quadruplets and just the order they came out in determine their names? I don't know. Why should I? Whoa. Whoa, man. Sanji's father is mean. Oh, and Reiji. The zeroth sibling. So, why is it they're having Sanji marry Pudding? Why can't one of the other brothers marry her? Are they already married? Hmm, I don't know. Because it really seems like, you know, they, they really rejected Sanji. They, they saw no value in having him in the family. So then he ran off and became a cook and stuff. I'm sure we'll see all of this in a, a more substantial flashback later. Hopefully. Looking forward to that. But, why then, after all this time, when they have this potential marriage proposal... Did their minds turn to Sanji? <sighs> Stop the top and spew this I remember training you in the way of the sword. <sighs> Could this possibly be also why he hates Zoro so much? I think Oda's always done a really good job of making them have this sort of friendly rivalry and camaraderie and they're just so great together but you know way way back even when they first met each other Sanji was always like more hostile to Zoro than Zoro was you know kind of cold and uncaring towards Sanji and a little mocking it always seemed like Sanji's hate was disproportionate right Hands of mine exist for the sole purpose of cooking. Hmm. Hard to believe it's the same Sanji. Oh. Royals were never meant to serve others. So I guess he is sort of a noble in that these guys are also really the royal family of their own kingdom. Even though it's a weird um, ship-based kingdom thing. A really cool kingdom. But... Uh, They, they are, like, I guess they, they probably went to the Reverie and stuff, too, right? I don't know. Woo! So this must be the raid suit, right? Guardian, mythical bird king and mount of Lord Vish Whoa, okay. The Garuda. So, yeah, this, I think, is the raid suit that allows him to maneuver like this. Ooh! And Sanji flaring up his legs. We haven't seen the Diable Jambe in quite a long time. <sighs> Ooh, but he grabs 
Sanji's burning foot? No, Sanji's getting jobbed again! We don't see him for like two years and then he just shows up and gets beat up by his dad. Come on, come on, you can do better than that. War is what advances technology. Tenchik, Electro. Oh. So I wonder... So this is some new technology that they've come up with and put in the raid suits, but... It's interesting that we saw this, and then we saw the Minx power of Electro, which really didn't get explained. We saw that kind of close together. Is there some kind of new technology in play? I don't know. Whoa. He lands the kick and then fires off his shoes for the double. It's pretty rough, man. Should blood parents be viewed in some holier-than-thou light? Didn't bother giving that look a single decent memory. Whoa, Senji even caged up as a child, looking sort of like uh, Duval here with the iron mask on. <laughs> Ooh, I like that it's almost the way he names it, as if it's almost his own fighting ability. The father calling in these reinforcements. Really kind of a, a chilling... Showing just how uh, regimented the society is. Oh, through one of his own men as a human shield. Oh, Sanji's family is awful! I, I really do feel like Sanji's family is going to be... End up being like the, the major villains of this arc. That somehow they're going to work things out with Big Mom. You know, via Lola's Viva card and stuff. Uh, but that Sanji's family, then, will be the group that needs appeasing. Ooh, Sanji knocked back again. Come on. I guess I guess that's it. He's he's out. Ooh, and they, I never noticed on their, their skull, though, on their Jolly Roger. It's the same sort of double comma 66 looking thing since we'll have not predictable stay Used to hand over one of my precious. Not really sure what happened there. There's only like a couple more pages, I'm pretty sure, but I think the previous one froze, and I'm also paranoid that it went over time. Uh, so many things going wrong with recording lately. I'm gonna have to think about alternative setups and stuff, I think. Anyways, before all that though, we finally understand why it is that he called back Sanji to be sacrificed to the deranged woman that is Big Mom. It was just a sacrifice. I never see a fool like you as a son of mine. Whoa! Oh! Okay, alright, alright. So this sets up a little more. Because, you know, at first the plan was just to scoop up Sanji and then sail away uh, ASAP. But, uh... Now he can't leave the island without his wrists exploding. Okay, okay. Sanji is knee-deep in it now, yeah, I'll say so. Alright, that's the end of that. Maybe it wasn't necessary making this video. I wasn't really sure if there would be too much else going on or not, and it was just sort of frustrating to see the other one froze, and then I was like, oh geez, but it's already uh, 20,000 frames, which is probably around 15 minutes. Oh well, oh well. Um, alright, alright. We'll, uh, we'll see how this arc continues. We didn't see any more development of... Uh, of Team Luffy stuck in the weird forest with uh, one of Big Mom's daughters, and Brooke and uh, 
Pecoms are still out on their little adventure too. There's a lot going on here. Oh, also the whole thing with Jimbai. Jimbi. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Jimbi, because that's how the drum is pronounced. Alright, that's, uh, that's all for Mega today. Alright, and we are now reading chapter 834 of Juan Apiece. Please don't crash, please don't freeze. I would like to do this in one video that has sound all the way through. Please, 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 please. I think it's a problem that has to do... I don't know. At first I thought it was only freezing on videos where I have a bunch of dumb anime GIFs and stuff, because they're a much higher uh, bitrate to, to record all of this live video instead of having most of it just be static pages on a screen. Uh, but then there are a few times that I was reading it in the other style where you can see the page and it's still crashed, so I really have no idea. But whatever, we will do our best to figure out what's going on. We join Boa Hancock in the Kuja Kingdom where she has posted a giant picture of Luffy up on the wall. And people, uh, the, the tribe elder seems a little shocked. <laughs> I wonder, I always, where is this plotline going to go? I really don't see them ending up together. But at the same time, I feel like, uh, you know, if, if Boa's role for the rest of the series is just to constantly kind of be humiliated and rejected by Luffy, that's kind of mean too. She, she really helped them out. I feel like she should get some sort of happiness or redemption or something. I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I suppose. So... Um, if you try to, oh, that's right, that's right. So, Sanji got tricked by his sister, who at first seemed like kind of a nice person, helping out Luffy when he was, you know, almost poisoned to death, and generally just kind of seeming like a kind, older sister type character. But then in the flashback, she was pretty awful. And right now, she just totally tricked Sanji into being trapped on the island, these exploding handcuffs. Oh... Don't try to forcefully remove them. Oh man. Okay, so this adds yet another thing uh, to the mix. This increasingly complicated rescue Sanji situation. More and more it seems like there, there's going to be a lot of fighting. And also the fact that it's one piece and there's no way that we're going to get out of this without a lot of fighting. It's a mess. Get it through that thick, thick skull of yours. These precious hands are not meant for fighting. This is Zeph, of course, laying into him. <sighs> the importance of only fighting with your legs. And here we see again, I think this idea is just so hyped, the, the fully completed Jerma Kingdom anchored outside of uh, Whole Cake Island. Ooh, finding out about Jimbei. It's cool for him to bring. It's just nuts. Ooh. Ooh, no, no. Don't they understand? You know, Jinbei walking out on Big Mom is about the, the scariest thing that you can imagine to incur Big Mom's wrath. Pedro observing. Huh. Very important individual, of course. Ooh, so it does seem like more and more that Jinbei, I mean, as far back as when he made that promise to Luffy, it seemed like that he would join the crew eventually. But uh, it really got put on the back burner, I guess because in Dressrosa, you know, he had already split up the crew, he had already had this sense that there was kind of too many characters to work with, he couldn't have uh, Jinbei kind of the running, running amok, is that maybe the best phrase? Probably not. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Because, you know, Jinbei is strong. Like, if Jinbei joins the crew, I, I fully expect to see the monster trio, trio to turn into the monster quadruplet. <clears throat> I don't know. Ooh, and there's, uh, what's his face? Tamago? Tam... Tamacoms or something? Tam... Tama something, because he's, you know, Eggman. Trying to pick out the wedding dress for pudding. Ooh. So, a lot of people are pretty suspicious about pudding. Because, you know, she led them down that path 
and then right after Peckham's got kidnapped, and it seems like she's in communication with Big Mom, or at least that jelly thing that keeps traveling around is definitely in communication with Big Mom. But I think, you know, I, I don't know, I trust her. I, I think, here, this is evidence. She's acting the same way, even though she doesn't know she's being observed. I like all the store assistants, too. This girl on the right here uh, really looks like one of the Kuja girls. <laughs> Ooh, that's right, so we're still trapped in the forest of illusions. Baron Tamako. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 they saw it. It's nowhere to be seen. So where is Peckham's? If Peckham's wasn't kidnapped by someone in Big Mom's crew, because if he was kidnapped by them, they would know about it right now, right? Who got to Peckham's? Ooh. I like that they have a little poster drawn up for a carrot. <laughs> Capture the... Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like that the building has sprinkles and stuff, and has these kind of flowers and stuff. It really looks like a gingerbread house kind of thing. Whoa, Brooks wanted poster. I forgot. It's so badass. Woo! Tamago knows already. Do you think you can locate Peckham's? <laughs> yeah, pretty much everything has gone wrong. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that's kind of in their court is that they have the the Viva card that Lola gave them, right? So they just have to figure that out. They just have to put it together that Lola is one of the daughters of Big Mom. And hopefully that should just take care of everything. We saved your daughter's life. We're in your good books. But then again, I think Big Mom is totally insane. So maybe that sort of logic will make sense to Tamago or her other subordinates who seem a little more clear-headed, but... Big Mom just might eat, eat him anyways. Yeah, she'll really easy. Oh, there! There's Lola's twin sister, of course. <laughs> oh my god, wait a minute. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, so she's married to Capone. So that's how Capone got involved in the Big Mom family. I see, I see. And that makes sense, too, because this whole family connection thing, marrying powerful families together, that's very Godfather-esque, you know? That's very um, Italian mobster kind of logic. So I like this connection. I like that he's kind of a good father, too. He's having fun. But if you're on your way to becoming a badass, sexy gam leader like your old man, do the family name, Brad. <laughs> is the baby smoking a cigar? <laughs> Come on. His name is Pets. This is, uh, the Miley Cyrus album, I think. Pets. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, so they're the ones that took Peckhams. Oh, interesting. But they wouldn't... You would think that they would report that to the Big Bomb family immediately, right? <clears throat> oh, I guess they're finishing them off first. Way on my ass. Hmm. Never cut out for this world. Man, it's not looking good for Peckoms. Again, this real gangster style execution. Sleeping with the fishes. Literally sleeping with the fishes. Uh, or being torn up and eaten by the fishes. I guess that's not so literally sleeping, but. How's Peckoms gonna get out of this jam? I think maybe our boy Jimbei might save him. Being Lord of the Seas, kind of hyped up earlier in the chapter. Well, the baby starts crying. Ooh, underestimating Mama will be your downfall. Is Capone acting on his own? Is that why the f Big Mom's family didn't, like, why Temigo didn't know about this? They're trying to make some power play of their own? Ooh, I don't know. I 
I think that will indeed be his downfall. And once again, Peckham shot into the ocean. There's, there's no way he's dying. Come on, dude. We can't. This can't be the end of Peckhams. I love our boy Peckhams. Alright, okay. And then, meanwhile, yet another plot element. The return of Caesar to Big Mom. It's to become family with all of the races of the world. Whoa! First family at eye level where we sit around with not a care in the world. Whoa! 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 <laughs> okay, okay. So Big Mom's dilemma is she wants to have this big family where she marries all these different races and species and families and tribes together, but at the same time, she doesn't feel like it's quite right because she's so much bigger than everyone. And she that's why Caesar was researching the gigantification of children. Alright, okay, okay, alright. If you say so, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. If that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're just making giants so you can hang out. <laughs> so how's it all going? It's going amazingly. Gigantification of humans. Hmm. Doing it primarily into converting brats into giants. I haven't been able to ensure longevity or sustained health. And of course, these are all the problems that we ran into in Punk Hazard. When they had to save the kids. Kids were in pretty dire straits. It's impossible. That's why I've been milking this crazy egg for all these words. The finest booze of women from my favorite girl's ship <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. Alright, so he's getting his comeuppance. And at the same time, you know, he was involved in all these dealings for Kaido, too. No, 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 no. Oh, Caesar. You are truly the worst off of everyone, it seems. How are you gonna talk your way out of this? Ooh, blaming Luffy. That's a pretty common strategy, it seems. A lot of people getting out of a lot of responsibilities just by blaming Luffy. <laughs> or Luffy, sorry. Someone called me out a bit ago that I say Luffy instead of Luffy. But I've been reading this series and since I was, like, literally ten years old, right? It's, it's a hard habit to shake. <laughs> to me, the word looks like Luffy, and for some reason, the sound, you know, like, Luffy, it sounds cooler to me than Luffy. I don't know. And of course there's the, the Street Fighter player named Luffy as well. And they, they refer to him as Luffy. And it was even spelled L-O-U. Because I think that's how they transliterate it in, in French. Anyway, I'm, I'm going way off topic here. Blame Luffy. It's in the precipitous. Moron strut. Ooh, okay. Good explanation. I think it's fairly fair. I mean, it's a lie, but it makes sense. I've built a, an exact replica of your previous lab. Oh! Candy Craftsman. Look up M.A. Zaiku. Well, we'll do that really quick. Oh, cool. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. And that's candy. Do you eat it afterwards? Huh. Huh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Before the candy cools and hardens again. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Alright, I'll probably look this up more later, but you get the idea. This is definitely worth looking into. It seems very interesting. Um, but we don't have time to, to get into it that much now. First thing is type structure with iron. Because <laughs> it was just candy before, so you need iron. Ooh. Okay, so here he heads to this perfect replica of his punk hazard island laboratory 
Ooh, this is the Minister of Candy, a candy human who ate the Lick Lick fruit. Interesting. And this is the eldest son of the Charlotte family, so this guy is definitely important. This is definitely somebody that we're going to be seeing a big fight with, I'm thinking. But what the heck does the Lick Lick power do? Ooh, and he has Caesar's heart? He just handed it off to a big mom henchman. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is weird. These character designs are nuts, by the way, man. All of the children of Big Mom's family so far have been, like, genuinely terrifying. Okay. Alright, this is yet another plot line. So I'm pretty sure, you know, Caesar has no hope of doing this. So he's got a Iron Man it. One of the few superhero movies I've seen and can remember the plot of is Iron Man, where they, they were trying to make him make, like, a nuke or something. They kidnapped him, and they were like, you gotta make us a weapon, and then instead he built the Iron Man suit and fought them all. Is that how it starts? Do I'm, am I remembering that right? So I think this will be similar. Caesar has to make some sort of weapon thing to get him out of there. <laughs> and then meanwhile... In the seductive forest, they're still running over... Oh my god, he's just... <laughs> he's just, like, rounding up. Okay, so, this is actually hilarious. The Luffy solution to the problem of there's too many of them is, is like, alright, we'll just round them all up. <laughs> we'll get them all together and then we'll figure this out. So this is the real Luffy. The fake Luffy, of course, turned back into another one of Big Mom's daughters and has currently... Captured Nami. We don't know how that situation's playing out. Let's see, what is what is his collection here? He's got a carrot, he's got a couple sanjis, a couple puddings, a couple choppers. Oh, another carrot over here. This is a Nami. Hanging out with uh, Alice here, who just wants her apple juice. It's a lot of friends he got here. <laughs> just love it. I found them again. <laughs> Okay, alright, good stuff. This arc is insane. Totally insane. But, uh... I'm into it, man. I'm having a good time. Alright, that's it for manga, but we're gonna do another video right after this.